first of all, let me thank the students tonight for performing and, and Mr. Patrick for uh, getting them here tonight. Thank you. They are Leah Berkey, Calvin Martin, Angela Studebaker, and Colin Berkey. Thank you very much. It was wonderful. We appreciate it. So, oh, sorry. You know what? That makes sense. Good catch. Thank you very much, Sean. So my name is Barry Younghans. I'm the principal at Goshen High School. I want to thank you uh, for coming tonight and welcome you to our new classroom edition. Um, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the community of Goshen for voting yes on the referendum. Uh, this has been, this edition has provided our uh, students with a bunch of extra rooms, uh, additional facilities for our students and our staff. Uh, it makes another hallway for our kids to leave the Whiteman Wing. Uh, for those of you that have been here in the past and you know that, that uh, mass of humanity that leaves the Whiteman Wing before that has been greatly reduced. It's allowed our students to, uh, sorry, it's allowed our faculty to not live on a cart. Uh, we have very few teachers on carts now, moving from classroom to classroom, and it's been a real blessing for our kids and our school. Uh, I want to thank again the support of the community. I want to thank this community for the support of this, and we appreciate it very much. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to Brad Weddle, president of the school board. Well, good afternoon. Uh, I am Brad Weddle, and on behalf of the school board, I would also like to thank the Goshen community for their ongoing support for Goshen schools. We absolutely could not provide the opportunities for our students that we do, if not for the unwavering support from our community leaders, businesses, and families. We owe you all a debt of gratitude. We will repay our community by supporting our students and producing young people who are well prepared to work, learn, and serve in our community for many years to come. And with us, I would like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Stephen Hope. Thank you, Mr. Weddle. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. We've gathered here to dedicate the new part of the Goshen High School and what I've heard referred to as the new wing, the science wing, the red wing, the classroom wing. So I'm not sure we've come to consensus on what to call it. No matter what we call it, it's more room for our teachers and students to learn and grow together. This familiar brick and mortar building was already filled with extraordinary teachers and students full of academic promise. And now, thanks to the generous support of the Goshen community, we have a new state-of-the-art wing to showcase technology, math, science, manufacturing, and art classes. Whatever our students study or do, they will learn more, grow in ways we cannot yet imagine, and leave their mark on this world. We now have classrooms that better support these extraordinary teachers and students. History is all around us today. As we stand in this building that has been added onto and renovated numerous times. The original construction in 1923 was located on a 17 acre campus, which was the largest high school campus in the state of Indiana at that time. And I believe Newt Rockney came to speak at that opening. Many local citizens were critical of that site because it was way too far out the country. <laughs> that building in 1923 included an auditorium, facilities for football, track, and baseball, and the cost was a staggering, at that time, $400,000. Enrollment in 1923 was 449 students, and the new school was built to accommodate 900 students. That building met the needs of Goshen High School until about 1960, when a major renovation was needed. Additions at that time included the current gym that seats almost 4,000, the original swimming pool, a new shop building, cafeteria, library, and attendance and counseling suite. The next major renovation began in 1977. That project took two and a half years and cost $7.5 million. Those improvements included a major renovation of the Whiteman Gym, the auditorium, redesigned classrooms and offices, carpeting, and complete re reworking of the mechanical, plumbing, and electrical systems. Those things that we can't see, but we all need. In 1997, the next Goshen High School renovation began. It took four years to complete, costing $25 million. 
That renovation was massive and included a beautiful new cafeteria, a new auditorium, a student commons area, a new media center, connected to the main building, the Whiteman Wing. An additional 73,000 square feet of space was added. And that increased capacity here at Goshen High School to 1,600, which is still too small for today's student body. The last renovation before this one was in 2014. And those areas included then the music suite um, that we're enjoying today. So with each new construction project, renovation or addition, the Goshen High School footprint has grown larger and the opportunities for our students have increased. Now with the Goshen High School community, we'll begin right in a new chapter as history is being made here today. Since 1923, Goshen High School has grown stronger and more technologically advanced. Our community has also grown stronger. Goshen schools and the Goshen community are connected. Strong schools feed a strong community. Strong community feed a strong public school. So at this time, I would like to introduce Board Vice President Roger Knopsinger, who will introduce the design build team. I think I'm really introducing the design build team unless we've screwed something up here. But I think my job is to introduce, introduce some of the people who are really the, the stars that bring us to today. Um, uh, we're not going to invite you up as your name is mentioned like in the Academy Awards so you can thank your mom and dad and the director and all that stuff. But, um, but I am happy to introduce some people that have been instrumental in the process of guiding um, our, our Goshen Community Schools through the process from groundbreaking to construction, um, all the equipment and appointments, furniture that's needed and brings us to today's dedication ceremony. Um, first, um, I'm gonna mention Carl Sender and I looked around, I don't think Carl's here. Carl lives in um, Felpo, is actually a member of the Valparaiso Board of uh, uh, School Trustees. But he is president and CEO of Sender and Company and his experience includes 35 years of providing financial advisory services to municipal educational public um, service entities or public sector entities and he's provided provided a wide variety of services to <coughs> local government units in indiana including to goshen community schools he's worked with us for a number of years <clears throat> our chief financial officer kelly kitchen has provided the day-to-day -day financial oversight for the building projects. She does a great job of keeping the board up to date on the school finances and um, provides the extra oversight and paperwork that goes along with the building project. That's uh, substantial. Uh, Kelly, we appreciate your knowledge of school finances and all you do, um, all the work that you've done to make this project run so smoothly. Our director of facilities is Tom Boomershine. Is Tom here? I didn't see, yeah, I didn't see him. Tom is another star. Um, he has the huge job in our district of simply running the facilities and the maintenance departments, keeping everything going. But during our building project, Tom was even busier than usual, of course. This year, he managed the routine maintenance that all of our schools and buildings need. Um, and at the same time has been managing the, this addition to Goshen High School. The renovations at Goshen Middle School and the building of a whole new school, um, Goshen Intermediate School. Between Tom and Kelly's oversight responsibilities, they've been quite busy and we appreciate that. Also like to thank um, the high school administration, Dr. Younghans, where did you go? Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. Um, We'd like to thank Dr. Young Hans and the GHS administrative team, Brian Bechtel, Kathy DeMeyer, Jim Pickard, Larry Kissinger, and Dan Butler. We appreciate your leadership and flexibility as the footprint of this building changed again and grew again. And we especially appreciate the way, um, Jim, that you've moved classrooms around when necessary and planned uh, for YGAN to have access to spaces when they needed it. That was quite a task. We appreciate that. Thank you. I'll turn it back to Dr. Ho. Um, our other school board members who have not come up yet, Ms. Amanda Qualls, Secretary. Uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Maria Sanchez-Shirk. Mr. Mario Garber. 
Mr. Alan Kaufman, Mr. Jose Elizalde, and returning with us, a former board member, but who was with us when we started this project, Mr. Keith Goodman. Thanks for coming back. The board member, I forgot. <laughs> Um, some other people who came out to celebrate with us today, Mayor of Goshen, Mayor Stutzman, and from the Fire Department, Chief Sink, appreciate you coming out today. Former superintendent who got this whole thing rolling, um, everything started with this project, Diane Woodworth, appreciate you being here. Um, the rest of the central office team, along with Kelly Kitchen, who have helped with various parts of this project, Mr. Allen, Dr. Allen Metcalf. <laughs> Mr. David Snyder, who we kept coming back to, oh, what about technology here, what about technology here? <laughs> uh, to answer a million questions, Mrs. Lori Lyon. So I appreciate all of your help on all of this. Um, again, uh, a special thanks to Mr. Jim Pickard. He has probably done more for this project than anyone else. Um, with every single detail um, coming up, he had to make a decision on, do research on, go back to We just appreciate all the work you put into this, Jim. So for the design build team, uh, we were very fortunate to work with great architects and a great builder on this project. And from Barton Co. Vilma, we have Brian Bolander with us today. And Brian, I don't know if you want to say a few words? No. <laughs> um, along with Brian, Amy Sanchez and Karen Fisher worked on this. They've just been fabulous to work with. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, likewise, we were blessed with just a great construction crew from Wagon, um, Steve uh, Bush and Cam Hardish. Uh, do you guys want to come up and say anything? <laughs> Nobody else wants to talk to them. <laughs> uh, but I just can't say enough good things about both Barton Co. Vilma and Wagon. They've just been fantastic to, to work with throughout this whole project. So. Let's get on with the actual ribbon cutting then, and Dr. Johans will come and introduce the students who will do the actual cutting. Hi, I'm Eileen. I'm a 12th grader here, and I was in marching band, so you probably saw me on the drum major podium at some point. Hi, my name is Elena McLaughlin. I was a cheerleader all four years, and I'm a National Honor Society. Uh, my name is Brenton Pham. I've been part of the orchestra program for a very long time. I played uh, varsity tennis here. Um, I'm Arlette Martinez. I am the vice president of our senior class, and I am also at National Honor Society, and I've been in color guard. So you probably see me spinning rifles and flags out there. <laughs> Although we're very tiny, so. <laughs> my name is Tyrese Garcia. I'm a 12th grader, and I'm part of orchestra. Uh, my name is Matthew Snyder. I'm also 12th grader here, and I am, interestingly enough, the only senior boy on the track. <laughs> uh, my name is Ainsley Kane. Um, I'm also a senior. Um, I've been a manager for girls basketball all four years, as well as a member of NHS. Don't bring yourself those scissors. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 